Libmind.com allows you to convert your ebooks into your native language, create a private online library, save them forever, and customize audiobooks at an affordable price. You can now subscribe by scanning the QR code on the screen, or click the link in the description, to order your private service. You have the incredible potential to be, do, and receive whatever you desire, imagine, and truly believe. Unfortunately, however, only a small number of people achieve their full human potential, because they fail to recognize and harness the infinite power of the subconscious mind, the divinity within them and around them, the secret to success is no secret. It has been in practice for thousands of years. The most successful people throughout history are not those who merely accept the reality presented to them but those who imagine a better reality and believe in it so deeply that they are actually able to create a new reality, to change the state of being around them. I end this book, you discover how to create your own new reality through desire, imagination, and belief. Part 1, Affirmation Essentials. Here you discover how to plant thoughts into your subconscious mind, so it can begin to work. Miracles in transmuting your thoughts into reality, often with little or no effort on your part. Part 2, Weekly Affirmations. These 52 weekly affirmations empower you to improve every aspect of your life, including your health, wealth, relationships, marriage, and career. Each weekly affirmation is accompanied by commentary that places the affirmation in the context of real life, so you can more clearly imagine and start appreciating the new reality you are about to experience. Part 3. More techniques for planting thoughts in the subconscious mind. These additional techniques enable you to plant thoughts in your subconscious mind and crystallize your vision. The more clearly and distinctly you are able to imagine yourself being, doing, or receiving that which you desire, the more certain your desire will be fulfilled. Part 4. Unlock the infinite power within you. Part 4 reveals the principles upon which the practice is based and relates true stories of people who solved problems healed themselves and others, saved lives, improved relationships, achieved career success, and attracted wealth through the power of affirmation. Part 4 also reveals the role the subconscious mind plays in out-of-body experiences, extrasensory perception, mental telepathy, clairvoyance, precognition, remote viewing, and other psychic powers. This book is your personal guide to leading a happier, wealthier, and more fulfilling life. By following the guidance offered here, you can stop going through life as a victim of circumstances and become the master of your own destiny. You discover how to harness the power of your own mind and the infinite resources surrounding you to be, do, and receive whatever you desire, imagine, and believe. Part 1, Affirmation ESSENTIALSY Is one person sad and another person happy? Why is one person joyous and prosperous and another person poor and miserable? Why is one person fearful and anxious and another full of faith and confidence? Why does one person have a beautiful, luxurious home while another person struggles to afford a meager existence? Why is one person a great success and another an abject failure? Why is one speaker outstanding and immensely popular and another mediocre and unpopular? Why is one person a genius in his field while the other person toils all his life without doing or accomplishing anything noteworthy? Why is one person healed of a so-called incurable disease and another isn't? Why do so many good, kind religious people suffer the tortures of the damned in their mind and body? Why do so many immoral and irreligious people succeed and prosper and enjoy radiant health? Why is one person happily married and her sister very unhappy and frustrated? The answer to all of these questions is found in the workings of the conscious and subconscious mind. Through your conscious mind, you can reprogram your subconscious mind to think positively. The power of your subconscious mind can then lift you up from confusion, misery, melancholy, and failure and guide you to your true place, solve your difficulties, sever you from emotional and physical bondage, and place you on the royal road to freedom, happiness, health, wealth, and peace of mind. In learning how to use your inner powers, you will discover how to create the reality you imagine. The conscious and subconscious mind your mind has two levels, the conscious, rational, level and the subconscious, creative intuitive, level. You think and reason with your conscious mind, and whatever you habitually think sinks down into your subconscious mind, which creates according to the nature of your thoughts. Your subconscious mind is the seat of your emotions and is the creative mind. 
If you think good, good will follow. If you think evil, evil will follow. This is the way your mind works. The main point to remember is that once the subconscious mind accepts an idea, it begins to execute it. It is an interesting and subtle truth that the law of the subconscious mind works for good and bad ideas alike. This law, when applied in a negative way, is the cause of failure, frustration, and unhappiness. However, when your habitual thinking is harmonious and constructive, you experience perfect health, success, and prosperity. Whatever you claim mentally and feel is true, your subconscious mind will accept and bring forth into your experience. Your conscious mind gives the command or decree, and your subconscious faithfully formulates and executes a plan to make it happen. The law of your mind is this, you will get a reaction or response from your subconscious mind according to the nature of the thought or idea you hold in your conscious mind. Psychologists and psychiatrists point out that when thoughts are conveyed to your subconscious mind, impressions are made in the brain cells. As soon as your subconscious accepts any idea, it proceeds to put it into effect immediately. It works by association of ideas and uses every bit of knowledge you have gathered in your lifetime to bring about its purpose. It draws on the infinite power, energy, and wisdom within you. It lines up all the laws of nature to get its way. Sometimes it seems to bring about an immediate solution to your difficulties. But at other times it may take days, weeks, or longer. Its ways are beyond human understanding, through the wisdom of your subconscious mind you can attract the ideal companion, as well as the right business associate or partner. It can find the right buyer for your home and provide you with all the money you need and the financial freedom to be, to do, and to go, as your heart desires. I have seen the power of the subconscious mind lift people up out of crippled states, making them whole, vital, and strong once more, free to go out into the world to experience happiness, health, and joyous expression. There is a miraculous healing power in your subconscious that can heal the troubled mind and the broken heart. It can open the prison door of the mind and liberate you. It can free you from all kinds of material and physical bondage. How affirmations work in affirmation is an assertion that something exists or is true. Look upon your own mind as a garden. You are a gardener, and affirmations are the seeds, thoughts, that you consciously plant in the soil of your subconscious mind. Whatever you sow in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body and environment. For this reason, it is essential that you project positive images on the movie screen of your mind, faithfully believing that these images are your reality in the here and now. Begin now to sow thoughts of peace, happiness, right action, goodwill, and prosperity. Think quietly and with interest on these qualities and accept them fully in your conscious, reasoning mind, where they are eventually passed along to your subconscious mind. Continue to plant these wonderful seeds, affirmations, in the garden of your mind, and you will reap a glorious harvest, when your mind thinks correctly, when you understand the truth, when the thoughts deposited in your subconscious mind are constructive, harmonious, and peaceful, the magic working power of your subconscious will respond and bring about harmonious conditions, agreeable surroundings, and the best of everything. When you begin to control your thought processes, you can apply the powers of your subconscious mind to any problem or difficulty. In other words, you will actually be consciously cooperating with the infinite power and omnipotent law, within you and around you, which governs all things that a practice independent of religious faith although the power of the subconscious mind is based on belief, it is independent of religious faith. It existed before you and I were born, before any church or world existed. The great eternal truths and principles of life predate all religions. It is with these thoughts in mind that I urge you to lay hold of this wonderful, magical, transforming power, which will bind up mental and physical wounds, proclaim liberty to the fear-ridden mind, and liberate you completely from the limitations of poverty, failure, misery, lack, and frustration. All you have to do is unite mentally and emotionally with the good you wish to embody, and the creative powers of your subconscious will respond accordingly. Begin now, today, let wonders happen in your life. The law of life is the law of belief, and belief could be summed up briefly as a thought in your mind. As a person thinks, feels, and believes, so is the condition of her mind, body, and circumstances. A technique, a methodology based on an understanding of what you are doing and why you are doing it will help you to bring about a subconscious embodiment of all the good things of life. Essentially, 
Answered prayer is the realization of your heart's desire, regardless of religious belief. Buddhists, Christians, Muslims, and Hebrews all may get answers to their prayers, not because of the particular creed, religion, affiliation, ritual, ceremony, formula, liturgy, incantation, sacrifices, or offerings, but solely because of belief or mental receptivity and acceptance about that for which they pray. Even an agnostic who has a passionate desire for something and truly believes he will receive it will have that desire fulfilled, although the affirmations in this book may use the word God. Feel free to substitute the word that most clearly reflects your belief, such as Allah, Yahweh, Brahman, Lord, Almighty, Supreme Being, Holy Spirit, Tao, Great Spirit, or the Force. According to Joseph Murphy, God is not a person, so we don't say, Our Father, who art in heaven. We say, Our Father, which art in heaven, indicating an impersonal presence and power, an infinite life and an infinite intelligence. To Murphy, prayer is equivalent to reciting an affirmation with feeling and belief, the power and necessity of belief the law of your mind is the law of belief. This means to believe in the way your mind works, to believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind, that is simple, just that and nothing else. Just as the intangible force of love can attract a soulmate, so too can the intangible power of belief bring health, wealth, wisdom, and a fulfilling life. All your experiences, events, conditions, and acts are the reactions of your subconscious mind to your thoughts. Remember, it is not the thing believed in, but the belief in your own mind that brings about the result. Cease believing in the false beliefs, opinions, superstitions, and fears of mankind. Begin to believe in the eternal verities and truths of life, which never change. Whoever reads this book and applies the principles of the subconscious mind herein set forth will be able to invoke good for herself and for others. The word is made flesh, thoughts take form, according to the universal law of action and reaction. Thought is incipient action. The reaction is the response from your subconscious mind which corresponds with the nature of your thought. Busy your mind with the concepts of harmony, health, peace, and goodwill, and wonders will happen in your life. Building belief through affirmations belief can be acquired in various ways, including the following for experience. Through experience or perception, you know that a thing or condition exists. Such as that fire is hot, reason. Through reason, you arrive at a conclusion that something exists or works a certain way. For example, most people believe in evolution by natural selection because it presents a reasonable explanation of the diversity of life forms on earth, faith, through a leap of faith, grace, or some other unexplained phenomenon, you simply believe that which is beyond perception and reason, affirmations or suggestions, through suggestion or auto-suggestion, you come to believe that something is so or that a certain outcome is inevitable. Hypnosis provides an example of the power of suggestion. With the activity of the conscious mind suspended, the subconscious mind becomes much more receptive to suggestion. However, even without hypnosis, repeated affirmations and suggestions can impress a belief upon the subconscious mind, putting affirmations to work the effectiveness of an affirmation is determined largely by your understanding of the truth and the meaning behind the words, an affirmation is simply your acknowledgement of a universal truth. Therefore, the power of your affirmation lies in the intelligent application of definite and specific positives. For example, a boy adds 3 and 3 and writes 7 on the blackboard. The teacher affirms with mathematical certainty that 3 and 3 are 6, therefore, the boy changes his figures accordingly. The teacher's statement did not make 3 and 3 equal 6 because the latter was already a mathematical truth. The mathematical truth caused the boy to rearrange the figures on the blackboard, IT is abnormal to be sick, it is normal to be healthy. Health is the truth of your being. When you affirm health, harmony, and peace for yourself or someone else, and when you realize that these are universal principles of your own being, you will replace the negative patterns of your subconscious mind with a positive pattern that is aligned with the universal truth of healthy being. The result of the affirmative process depends on your thoughts conforming to the principles of life. Regardless of appearances. Consider for a moment that there is a principle of mathematics and none of error, there is a principle of truth but none of dishonesty. There is a principle of intelligence but none of ignorance, there is a principle of harmony and none of discord. There is a principle of health but none of illness, 
and there is a principle of abundance, but none of poverty. I used the affirmative method on my sister who was to be operated on for the removal of gallstones in a hospital in England. The condition described was based on the diagnosis of hospital tests and the usual x-ray procedures. She asked me to pray for her. We were separated geographically about 6,500 miles, but there is no time or space in the mind principle. Infinite mind or intelligence is present in its entirety at every point simultaneously. I withdrew all thought from the contemplation of symptoms and from the corporeal personality altogether. I affirmed as follows, this prayer is for my sister Catherine. She is relaxed and at peace, poised, balanced, serene, and calm. The healing intelligence of her subconscious mind, which created her body, is now transforming every cell, nerve, tissue, muscle, and bone of her being according to the perfect pattern of all organs lodged in her subconscious mind. Silently, quietly, all distorted thought patterns in her subconscious mind are removed and dissolved, and the vitality, wholeness, and beauty of the life principle are made manifest in every atom of her being. She is now open and receptive to the healing currents, which are flowing through her like a river, restoring her to perfect health, harmony, and peace. All distortions and ugly images are now washed away by the infinite ocean of love and peace flowing through her, and it is sowed, I affirm the above several times a day, and at the end of two weeks my sister had an examination, which showed a remarkable healing, and the x-ray, proved negative. To affirm is to state that it is so, and as you maintain this attitude of mind is true. Regardless of all evidence to the contrary, whatever you affirm will come to be, suggestions to improve results what follows are the 52 weekly affirmations. To optimize the power of these affirmations and of your subconscious mind, I recommend the following, post a copy of the affirmation where you will notice it over the course of your day, perhaps at the bottom of your computer monitor, on a wall near your desk, or on the door of your refrigerator, relax and quiet your mind prior to reading or reciting the affirmation, so that your mind is receptive. A dark, quiet room is more conducive to the meditative state that makes the mind receptive to affirmations. Reciting the affirmation as you are falling asleep is an effective technique, because the conscious mind is less able to reject it. If you can memorize the affirmation, Keep your eyes gently closed as you recite it to remove all visual distractions. Recite the affirmation aloud, if possible, or sound out the words in your head. Hearing the words will reinforce the impression on your subconscious mind. As you read or recite the affirmation, think carefully about its meaning. Do not merely say the words, focus on the positive and give absolutely no attention to any negative. In the case of illness, for example, think in terms of restoring health and not about curing the illness, because any thought or mention of the illness affirms it and the symptoms that accompany it. Likewise, think of wealth, not the elimination of debt, use your imagination, not willpower. Imagine the end and the freedom state. You will find your intellect trying to get in the way, but persist in maintaining a simple, childlike, miracle-making belief. Picture yourself or the other person healthy, wealthy, and successful. Imagine the emotional accompaniment of the freedom state you crave. Cut out all red tape from the process. The simple way is the best, easy does it. Do not be concerned with details and means, but know the end result. Get the feel of the happy solution to your problem whether it is health, finances, or employment. Imagine how you will feel when the problem is resolved. Bear in mind that your feeling is the touchstone of all subconscious imprints. Your new idea must be felt subjectively in a finished state, not the future, but as coming about now. Spend an entire week on each affirmation, repeating it several times daily. Merely reading through the 52 weekly affirmations will have little or no effect. Just as seeds need time to sprout and take root, so too do thoughts need time to sprout and take root in your subconscious until your conscious and subconscious mind are unified in their acceptance of the affirmation's truth. Rest in a sense of deep conviction that it is done. Caution. Never think or utter phrases such as I can't afford this or I can't do this. Your subconscious mind takes you at your word and will see to it that you do not have the money or the ability to do what you want to do. Do not weaken your affirmation by saying, I wish or I hope. State the affirmation as a decree from the boss, your conscious mind. Harmony is yours. Health is yours. 
pass the thought to your subconscious mind to the point of conviction, then relax. Through relaxation you impress your subconscious mind enabling the kinetic energy behind the idea to take over and bring it into concrete realization. Part 2. Weekly AFFIRMATIONS Week 1 Cleanse Your Mind Divine Love Fills My Soul Divine Right Action Is Mine Divine Harmony Governs My Life Divine Peace Fills My Soul Divine Beauty Is Mine Divine Joy Fills My Soul I am divinely guided in all ways. I am illumined from on high. I know and believe that I will receive a measure of life, love, truth, and beauty that transcends my boldest dreams. I know that universal love and generosity embrace me. Commentary, modern life is hectic and cluttered with meaningless distractions and concerns. When you begin to feel overwhelmed by life's demands, Take some time to quiet your mind and remind yourself that you were created to be joyous, weak, to affirm the power of your subconscious Mindy can do all things through the power of my subconscious mind. Whatever thought I consciously impress upon my subconscious, my subconscious will find a way to make happen. Strength, health, and goodness flow through me and all of those around me, and I wish the best for everyone I encounter throughout each and every day. I am thankful for all of the blessings bestowed upon me, commentary, for affirmations to be effective, you must believe in the power of belief. This affirmation helps build that belief, which then serves as the foundation on which all other affirmations are built. Week 3 Assign your conscious mind the role of gatekeeper My conscious mind is the watchman at the gate, protecting my mind from false impressions. It rejects all thoughts that do not comply with the universal principles of health, love, wisdom, and abundance. It turns away any suggestions that pose a threat to my self-esteem. I am what I think, and through my conscious mind, I have total control over my thoughts. I choose to entertain thoughts of peace, joy, health, love, abundance, and goodwill to all, commentary. You may not have control over what happens to you in life, but you have total control over how you think about it. No person or event can make you feel angry, discouraged, envious, bitter, or inadequate. Your conscious mind can protect you by rejecting such thoughts. It is the gatekeeper, weak for embrace and embody truth God's love, truth, and wisdom flood my mind and heart. I love the truth, I hear the truth, and I know the truth. God's river of peace floods my mind, and I give thanks for my freedom. I think rightly and reflect divine wisdom and divine intelligence in all ways. My mind is the perfect mind of God, unchanging and eternal. I hear the voice of God which is the voice of peace, truth, and love. My mind is full of God's wisdom and understanding. Whatever is vexing me now is leaving me, and I am free and at peace commentary, lies, deception, misinformation, half-truths, and false beliefs are at the root of a great deal of human suffering because they give rise to distorted thoughts. God is truth, and to be at one with God is to be at one with truth. Until you embrace and embody truth, you are at odds with it and will continue to suffer all manner of misfortune. Week 5 Identify your life's purpose The infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind reveals to me my true place in life, and I follow the lead which comes clearly into my conscious, reasoning mind. It knows me intimately. It identifies my interests, knowledge, skills, talents, and passions and delivers opportunities to me that I am perfectly suited for and interested in. I accept opportunities and see that I am happy and productive in my work. I am in harmony with my supervisor and co-workers as we strive to achieve common goals. I am able to contribute value and use my mind creatively to discover valuable innovations for products, services, and processes and I am compensated accordingly, commentary, nearly everyone wants to live a purpose-driven life, but many have no idea what their purpose or station in life is or should be. Use this affirmation to pass the challenge along to your subconscious mind, the creative part of your mind that serves as a gateway to infinite intelligence. Your subconscious mind is the perfect placement service and will deliver a position that is the perfect fit, Week 6 Receive the perfect plan The infinite intelligence which gave me this desire leads, guides, and reveals to me the perfect plan for the unfolding of my desire. I know the deeper wisdom of my subconscious is now responding, and what I feel and claim within is expressed in the without. There is a balance, equilibrium, and equanimity, commentary, your conscious mind is rational, 
whereas your subconscious mind is creative and intuitive. Impress upon your subconscious mind whatever you desire in life, and it will formulate a plan and attract whatever resources are required to deliver the object or your desire or whatever you wish to attain. Conscious planning may interfere with the workings of your subconscious mind. Pass your desire to your subconscious mind, and let it do its job. When you allow your subconscious mind to create, it will often inspire the perfect plan. It will come to you in a flash of genius with little effort on your part. Week 7 Live a harmonious life Infinite intelligence leads and guides me in all my ways. Perfect health is mine, and the law of harmony operates in my mind and body. Beauty, love, peace, and abundance are mine. The principle of right action and divine order govern my entire life. I know my major premise is based on the eternal truths of life, and I know, feel, and believe that my subconscious mind responds according to the nature of my conscious mind thinking, commentary. Although some scientists suggest that the universe is chaotic, it is actually well-ordered and governed by laws. Natural laws govern the physical universe, and moral laws govern human behavior. Aligning yourself with these eternal laws ensures health, wealth, happiness, and harmony. This very general affirmation puts you on the path of living a well-ordered life. Week 8 Sleep in peace and wake enjoy my toes are relaxed, my ankles are relaxed, my abdominal muscles are relaxed. My heart and lungs are relaxed, my hands and arms are relaxed, my neck is relaxed, my brain is relaxed, my face is relaxed, my eyes are relaxed, my whole mind and body are relaxed. I fully and freely forgive everyone, and I sincerely wish for them harmony, health, peace, and all blessings. I am at peace, I am poised, serene, and calm. I rest in security and in peace. A great stillness steals over me and a great calm quiets my whole being as I realize the divine presence within me. I know that the realization of life and love heals me. I wrap myself in the mantle of love and fall asleep filled with goodwill for all. Throughout the night peace remains with me, and in the morning I shall be filled with life and love, commentary. If you suffer from insomnia, as do many people, you will find this affirmation very effective. Repeat it slowly, quietly, and lovingly prior to sleep. You will need no other sleep aids, week 9 make happiness a habit divine order takes charge of my life today and every day. All things work together for good for me today. This is a new and wonderful day for me. There will never be another day like this one. I am divinely guided all day long. And whatever I do will prosper. Divine love surrounds me, enfolds me, and enwraps me, and I go forth in peace. Whenever my attention wanders away from that which is good and constructive, I will immediately bring it back to the contemplation of that which is lovely and of good report. I am a spiritual and mental magnet attracting to myself all things, which bless and prosper me. I am going to be a wonderful success in all my undertakings today. I am definitely going to be happy all day long, commentary, a number of years ago, I stayed for about a week in a farmer's house in Connemara on the west coast of Ireland. He seemed to be always singing and whistling and was full of humor. I asked him the secret of his happiness, and his reply was, it is a habit of mine to be happy. Every morning when I awaken and every night before I go to sleep, I bless my family, the crops, the cattle, and I thank God for the wonderful harvest. This farmer had made a practice of this for over 40 years. As you know, thoughts repeated regularly and systematically sink into the subconscious mind and become habitual. Happiness is a habit, week 10 claim a better future I am filled with the free-flowing, cleansing, healing, harmonizing, vitalizing life of the Holy Spirit. My body is the temple of the living God, and it is pure, whole, and perfect in every part. Every function of my mind and body is controlled and governed by divine wisdom and divine order, I now look forward to a glorious future. I live in the joyous expectancy of the best. All of the wonderful godlike thoughts I am thinking now, this day, sink down into the subconscious mind like seeds into fertile soil. I know that when their time is ready, they will come forth as harmony, health, peace, opportunities, experiences, and events I now pass over from fear and lack to freedom in God and the abundant life. The God-man is risen in me. Behold! I make all things new, commentary, each day is a time of renewal, resurgence, and rebirth. 
All nature proclaims the glory of a new day. This is to remind us that we must awaken the God within us and arise from our long winter sleep of limitation and walk forth into the morning of a new day and a new life. Fear, ignorance, and superstition must die in us, and we must resurrect faith, confidence, love, and goodwill. Begin now to take the transfusion of God's grace and love through this affirmation, Week 11 Cure yourself my body and all its organs were created by the infinite intelligence in my subconscious mind. It knows how to heal me. Its wisdom fashioned all my organs, tissues, muscles, and bones. This infinite healing presence within me is now transforming every atom of my being making me whole and perfect now. I give thanks for the healing I know is taking place now. Wonderful are the works of the creative intelligence within me, commentary, your subconscious started your heartbeat, controls the circulation of your blood, and regulates your digestion, assimilation, and elimination. When you eat a piece of bread, your subconscious mind transmutes it into tissue, muscle, bone, and blood. It controls all the vital processes and functions of your body. If your subconscious mind can build you from scratch, it can certainly heal you and rid you of illness. As you change your mind by drenching it with incessant affirmatives, you change your body. This is the basis of all healing, week 12 heal others remotely the healing presence is right where underscore 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 is. Her bodily condition is but a reflection of her thought life like shadows cast on the screen. I know that in order to change the images on the screen I must change the projection reel. My mind is the projection reel, and I now project in my own mind the image of wholeness, harmony, and perfect health for underscore 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 underscore. The infinite healing presence, which created underscore 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 s body and all her organs is now saturating every atom of her being, and a river of peace flows through every cell of her body. The doctors are divinely guided and directed, and whoever touches underscore 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 is guided to do the right thing. I know that disease has no ultimate reality. I now align myself with the infinite principle of love and life, and I know and decree that harmony. Health and peace are now being expressed in underscore 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 s body commentary. Infinite intelligence flows through all things and is not separated by time or space. It is responsible for phenomena such as mental telepathy, extrasensory perception, astral projection, and the healing power of prayer. Your subconscious mind is the gateway to infinite intelligence, enabling you to harness its power to heal others, whether you are nearby, across town, or halfway around the world, keep in mind that any negative thoughts also travel through the ether and have the potential to harm others. Positive thoughts, like positive deeds, are valuable contributions to the community. Destructive thoughts, like destructive deeds, harm the community. Week 13 Attract money I like money, I love it, I use it wisely, constructively, and judiciously. Money is constantly circulating in my life. I release it with joy, and it returns to me multiplied in a wonderful way. It is good and very good. Money flows to me in avalanches of abundance. I use it for good only, and I am grateful for my good and for the riches of my mind. Commentary, the urge of the life principle in you is toward growth, expansion, and the life more abundant. You are not here to live in a hovel, dress in rags, and go hungry. You should be happy, prosperous, and successful. Never criticize money or those who have plenty of it. Cleanse your mind of all weird and superstitious beliefs about money. Do not ever regard money as evil or filthy. If you do, you cause it to take wings and fly away from you. You lose what you condemn. You cannot attract what you criticize. Week 14 Secure a constant supply of money I am one with the infinite riches of my subconscious mind. It is my right to be rich, happy, and successful. Money flows to me freely, copiously, and endlessly. I am forever conscious of my true worth. I give of my talents freely, and I am wonderfully blessed financially. It is wonderful, commentary, recognizing the powers of your subconscious mind and the creative power of your thought or mental image is the way to opulence. 
freedom, and constant supply. Accept the abundant life in your own mind. Your mental acceptance and expectancy of wealth has its own mathematics and mechanics of expression. As you enter into the attitude of opulence, all things necessary for the abundant life will come to pass. Let this be your daily affirmation, write it in your heart, week 15 prosper in all of your interests by day and by night, I am being prospered in all of my interests, commentary, sometimes a simple affirmation is best, one that is not overly aggressive. In some cases, people repeat affirmations that conflict with their underlying beliefs, in which case the conscious mind rejects the affirmation as being untrue and never passes it along to the subconscious mind. For example, your conscious mind may reject an affirmation decreeing that you have received a million dollars, but it can accept as true an affirmation that you are being prospered in all of your interests. I suggested to one businessman whose sales and finances were very low and who was greatly worried, that he sit down in his office, become quiet, and repeat this statement over and over again, my sales are improving every day. This statement engaged the cooperation of the conscious and subconscious mind, and the desired results followed. Week 16 Make wise financial and investment decisions Infinite intelligence governs and watches over all my financial transactions, and whatsoever I do shall prosper. Commentary If you are seeking wisdom regarding investments or are worried about your stocks or bonds, repeat this affirmation to instruct your subconscious to make wise investment decisions. Do this frequently and you will find that your investments will be wise. Moreover, you will be protected from loss, as you will be prompted to sell your securities or holdings before any loss accrues to you. Week 17 Recover from a financial setback I have lost money. I will be productive again and make more money. I have learned a good lesson, which will ultimately pay me dividends. I have not lost my faith, confidence, or ability to rise and grow. I have much to offer and I am going to be a tremendous success again. God is the source of my supply, and God's wealth is circulating in my life. There is always a divine surplus. God opens up the way for me to succeed in divine order, commentary. It is not what happens to you that matters so much, it is your thought about it, your reaction, which can be constructive or destructive. Use your imagination wisely, rebuilding in your mind a new pattern, seeing future possibilities, using the wings of faith and imagination to rebuild a better life. Success and wealth are products of your thoughts and beliefs. Week 18 Find your ideal home or apartment The infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind is all wise. It reveals to me now the ideal home, which is in a central location and a lovely environment, meets with all my requirements, and is commensurate with my income. I am now turning this request over to my subconscious mind, and I know it responds according to the nature of my request. I release this request with absolute faith and confidence in the same way that a farmer deposits a seed in the ground, trusting implicitly in the laws of growth, commentary, in buying and selling, remember that your conscious mind is the starter and your subconscious mind is the motor. You must start the motor to enable it to perform its work. The first step in conveying your clarified desire, idea, or image to the deeper mind is to relax, immobilize the attention, get still, and be quiet. This quiet, relaxed, and peaceful attitude of mind prevents extraneous matter and false ideas from interfering with your mental absorption of your idea. Furthermore, in the quiet, passive, and receptive attitude of mind, effort is reduced to a minimum. The answer to your request may come through an advertisement in the paper, through a friend, or you may be guided directly to a particular home, which is exactly what you are seeking. There are many ways by which your prayer may be answered. The principal knowledge in which you may place your confidence is that the answer always comes, provided you trust the working of your deeper mind, week 19 sell your home or other property infinite intelligence attracts to me the buyers for this home who want it and who prosper in it. These buyers are being sent to me by the creative intelligence of my subconscious mind, which makes no mistakes. They may look at many other homes, but mine is the only one they want and will buy, because they are guided by the infinite intelligence within them. I know the buyers are right, the time is right, and the price is right. Everything about it is right. The deeper currents of my subconscious mind are now in operation bringing us together in divine order. I know that it is so, commentary, remember always, that what you are seeking is also seeking you, 
and whenever you want to sell a home or property of any kind, there is always someone who wants what you have to offer. By using the power of your subconscious mind correctly, you free your mind of all sense of competition and anxiety in buying and selling. Week 20 Solve a problem my subconscious knows the answer. It is responding to me now. I give thanks because I know the infinite intelligence of my subconscious knows all things and is revealing the perfect answer to me now. My real conviction is now setting free the majesty and glory of my subconscious mind. I rejoice that it is so, commentary. People often try too hard to solve their own problems, often making matters worse through their efforts. Instead of using your conscious mind to find a solution to a problem, pass the problem to your subconscious mind, which is much better equipped to solve tricky problems. Many times, with the conscious mind suspended during sleep, the subconscious mind solves the problem, and you wake up knowing the solution. Week 21 Find lost or misplaced items you know all things. You know where underscore 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 is, and you now reveal to me where it is, commentary, repeat this affirmation several times daily, especially prior to dropping off to sleep. Your subconscious mind knows the last place you had it, and if it is something someone else lost or misplaced, infinite intelligence knows where it is and can pass the information to you through the power of your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind will always answer you if you trust it. Week 22 Make an important or difficult decision The creative intelligence of my subconscious mind knows what is best for me. Its tendency is always life forward, and it reveals to me the right decision, which blesses all concerned. I give thanks for the answer which I know will come to me. Commentary Whenever you are facing a life-changing decision, such as whether to change jobs, move, get married or divorced, have children, and so on, engage your subconscious. Your conscious, rational mind may be able to reason what is best, but your intuition is likely to lead you to a decision that complies with the divine order. Trust your intuition that a young lady in Los Angeles was deciding whether to accept a position in New York City at twice her present salary. She repeated this affirmation over and over again prior to sleep, and in the morning she had a persistent feeling that she should not accept the offer. She rejected the offer and subsequent events verified her inward sense of knowing, because the company went bankrupt in a few months following their offer of employment to her. The conscious mind may be correct on the facts objectively known, but the intuitive faculty of her subconscious mind saw the failure of the concern in question, and prompted her accordingly, week 23 love unconditionally I give my love freely to underscore 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 for the joy and thrill of knowing that Asha will be joyous and free. My gift of love has no strings attached. It is as free as the wind. I expect nothing in return because the ability to feel and express love is an incredible gift in itself. I rejoice in the happiness that my love gives to me and others, commentary, too often. We love and serve others expecting something in return, such as gratitude, recognition, love, or future favors. When our expectations are unfulfilled, love turns to bitterness and resentment and imprisons both the giver and the receiver. True love, however, is liberating. When you give, do so from the heart and for the joy and thrill of giving to make others joyous and free. You will receive bountiful blessings in return, but do not give with the expectation of receiving those blessings. Week 24 Forgive others I fully and freely forgive underscore 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 I release him or mentally and spiritually. I completely forgive everything connected with the matter in question. I am free and Hesha is free. It is a marvelous feeling. It is my day of general amnesty. I release anybody and everybody who has ever hurt me, and I wish for each and every one health, happiness, peace, and all the blessings of life. I do this freely, joyously, and lovingly, and whenever I think of the person or persons who hurt me, I say, I have released you, and all the blessings of life are yours. I am free and you are free. It is wonderful, commentary, the great secret of true forgiveness is that once you have forgiven the person, it is unnecessary to repeat the affirmation. Whenever the person comes to your mind, or the particular hurt happens to enter your mind, wish the delinquent well, and say, peace be to you. Do this as often as the thought enters your mind. 
you will find that after a few days the thought of the person or experience will return less and less often, until it fades into nothingness. Week 25 Wish others well I wish for every person who walks the earth, what I wish for myself, peace, love, joy, abundance, and God's blessings to all. I rejoice and am glad in the progression, advancement, and prosperity of all people. Commentary The great law is this, as you would that men should think about you, think you about them in the same manner. As you would that men should feel about you, feel you also about them in like manner. Never try to deprive another of any joy. If you do, you also deprive yourself. Whatever you claim is true for yourself, claim it for all people everywhere. If you pray for happiness and peace of mind, let your claim be peace and happiness for all. When the ship comes in for your fellow human being, it comes in for you also. Week 26 Attract your soulmate I am now attracting a man-woman who is honest, sincere, loyal, faithful, peaceful, happy, and prosperous. These qualities, which I admire, are sinking down into my subconscious mind now. As I dwell upon these characteristics, they become a part of me and are embodied subconsciously. Husha loves my ideals, and I love Hisher ideals. Husha does not want to make me over, neither do I want to make him her over. There is mutual love, freedom, and respect. We are irresistibly attracted to each other. Only that which belongs to love, truth, and beauty can enter my experience. I accept my ideal companion now. Commentary Feel free to edit this affirmation to describe the qualities you desire in your ideal companion. Repeat your affirmation in the spirit of expectancy. As you think quietly and with interest on the qualities and attributes, which you admire in the companion you seek, you will build the mental equivalent into your mentality. Then, the deeper currents of your subconscious mind will bring both of you together in divine order. Week 27 Support your spouse spiritually I know that my spouse is receptive to my constructive thought and imagery. I claim, feel, and know that at the center of her is being is peace. My spouse is divinely guided in all ways. She is a channel for the divine. God's love fills her as mind and heart. There are harmony, peace, love and understanding between us. I picture her him as happy, healthy, joyous, loving, and prosperous. I surround and enfold her him with the sacred circle of God's love which is impregnable, impervious, and invulnerable to all negation. Commentary A woman in London said that her husband had lost all his money in the stock market and that he felt morose, morbid, and deeply depressed. He wanted a divorce, claiming that she was nagging him to death. I explained to her that nagging was about the quickest way to dissolve a marriage and suggested to her that this is the time when he needs encouragement and support. She pointed out the good qualities and attitudes he had when she married him. I said to her that these same qualities and characteristics which endeared him to her in the first place are still there but need to be resurrected. This can be accomplished through the power of affirmations. I gave her this affirmation to repeat frequently, pointing out that her husband would subconsciously receive her spiritual support and both would be blessed. They talked things over while I was in London and then decided to pray together and stay together. Her husband recently has found a very lucrative position. Prayer changes things. It changes the person who prays. Week 28 Maintain a strong marriage The spirit in me talks to the spirit of underscore 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 underscore. Harmony, peace, love, and understanding are between us at all times. God thinks, speaks, and acts through me. And God thinks, speaks, and acts through my spouse. Commentary A single affirmation is insufficient for strengthening the marriage bond. You must both maintain a positive mindset regarding each other and declare and demonstrate your love and respect throughout the day. In addition to repeating this affirmation daily, here are five steps for maintaining a strong marriage. Never carry over from one day to another accumulated irritations arising from little disappointments. Forgive each other for any sharpness before you retire at night. The moment you awaken in the morning, claim infinite intelligence is guiding you in all your ways. Send out loving thoughts of peace, harmony, and love to your marriage partner, to all members of the family, into the whole world. Give thanks at breakfast for the wonderful food, for your abundance, and for all your blessings. Make sure that no problems, worries, or arguments enter into the table conversation. The same applies at dinner time, say to your wife or husband, I appreciate all you are doing, 
and I radiate love and goodwill to you all day long. Do not take your marriage partner for granted. Demonstrate your appreciation and love. Think appreciation and goodwill, rather than condemnation, criticism, and nagging. The way to build a peaceful home and a happy marriage is to use a foundation of love, beauty, harmony, mutual respect, a common faith, and all things good. Week 29 Let go of a troublesome relationship I release underscore 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 underscore. He is in his true place at all times as am I. Each of us freely chooses to diverge and follow separate paths. I now decree that my words go forth into infinite mind and bring it to pass. It is so, commentary, relationships can be difficult to end, especially if the other person is unwilling to disengage. In such situations, bitterness and anxiety can fester. Decreeing an end to the relationship and envisioning the two of you heading off in separate directions sends a clear message through the ether that the relationship has ended, week 30 gain closure there has been a perfect, harmonious solution. It is finished according to divine order, commentary, when you find yourself in a difficult situation and can foresee no end to the difficulty, consider repeating this affirmation over and over again as your mantra. Trust that this too shall pass and hand the situation to infinite intelligence to resolve. Through this decree, you release a problem that you have no control over, thus liberating yourself while permitting your subconscious to resolve the issue with little or no effort or anguish on your part. Week 31 Improve your memory My memory from today on is improving in every department. I shall always remember whatever I need to know at every moment of time and point of space. The impressions received will be clearer and more definite. I shall retain them automatically and with ease. Whatever I wish to recall will immediately present itself in the correct form in my mind. I am improving rapidly every day. And very soon my memory will be better than it has ever been before. Commentary. Never think or say anything such as I am losing my memory or maybe I am getting dementia. If such thoughts make it past the gatekeeper of your conscious mind and take root in your subconscious, your subconscious mind will begin to bring those thoughts to fruition. Crowd out negative thinking with positive thoughts, week 32 break a bad habit my mind is full of peace, poise, balance, and equilibrium. The infinite lies stretched in smiling repose within me. I am not afraid of anything in the past, the present, or the future. The infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind leads, guides, and directs me in all ways. I now meet every situation with faith, poise, calmness, and confidence. I am now completely free from the habit. My mind is full of inner peace, freedom, and joy. I forgive myself, then I am forgiven. Peace, health, and confidence reign supreme in my mind. Commentary, you are a creature of habit. Habit is the function of your subconscious mind. You learn to swim, ride a bicycle, dance, and drive a car by consciously doing these things over and over again until they establish tracks in your subconscious mind. Then, the automatic habit action of your subconscious mind took over. This is sometimes called second nature, which is a reaction of your subconscious mind to your thinking and acting. You are free to choose a good habit or a bad habit. If you repeat a negative thought or act over a period of time, you will be under the compulsion of a habit. The law of your subconscious is compulsion, week 33 overcome a bad temper henceforth, I shall grow more good humored. Joy, happiness, and cheerfulness are now becoming my normal states of mind. Every day I am becoming more and more lovable and understanding. I am now becoming the center of cheer and goodwill to all those about me, infecting them with good humor. This happy, joyous, and cheerful mood is now becoming my normal, natural state of mind. I am grateful, commentary. If you harbor anger or ill will toward anyone, such as your mate, a neighbor, a colleague, or a supervisor, you can improve your relationship by changing your attitude toward that person. People tend to treat you better when you have a more positive attitude toward life in general and toward them specifically. And, even if they do not change for the better as a result, your positive attitude will make you less miserable. Such individuals will no longer have power over your thoughts or feelings. You will be and feel liberated, week 34 overcome envy no I cannot receive what I cannot give, and I give out thoughts of love, peace, light, 
and goodwill to underscore 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 and to everyone else. I am divinely guided. I turn my attention from wanting what underscore 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 has to what I truly desire, describe that which you desire, such as good health, prestige, a salary, a spouse, or certain possessions. Blessings are sufficient to fulfill all desires without my having to desire what others have. According to the law of attraction, everything I truly desire is attracted to me, commentary, never, under any circumstances, desire another person's job, spouse, home, or anything else. To covet or envy another is to attract loss, lack, and limitation to yourself. You impoverish yourself along all lines. You are saying to yourself, he can have these things, but I can't. You are denying your own divinity. To steal from another mentally is to actually steal from yourself, the loss can come to you in many ways, loss of health, prestige, promotion, love, or money. The way loss comes is past finding out. You do not want the other fellow's position, you really want a position like it, giving you the same privileges, emoluments, salary, and perquisites, infinite intelligence can open a new door of expression for you. If you call upon it, you will get an answer, week 35 overcome procrastination action is a consequence of thought. I know what needs to be done, and I do it in a timely manner. I am organized, efficient, and productive. I prioritize my daily tasks and perform them in their order of importance. I eagerly tackle the most difficult tasks. I have the knowledge, skills, and resources to complete all of my projects and the perseverance to overcome all obstacles. I am proud of my accomplishments and thankful for the many blessings I receive as a result. Commentary, getting started on a project or task is often the most difficult step. Set aside 10 to 15 minutes at the end of your workday to create tomorrow's to-do list. As you nod off to sleep, look forward with gratitude toward having a plan and a purpose for the coming day. You will awaken with a sense of purpose and direction. As you complete your tasks, check them off the list to reward yourself for your accomplishments. Never go to bed without a plan for tomorrow, week 36 improve your athletic performance I am relaxed, I am poised, I am serene. All of my training and conditioning has prepared me for this event. I am calm before every contest, and the almighty power within me takes over. I invite this higher power to flow through me and move me. I am grateful for the opportunity to perform, and I perform joyously. My performance is graceful, glorious, and effortless, commentary. When gifted athletes deliver an outstanding performance, they usually describe the experience as being in the zone. They feel superhuman and perform feats that appear to reach beyond what is humanly possible, and without conscious effort. When you perform in the zone, you lose your sense of self. You lose your ego. You are fully immersed in the activity and at one with the universe. As such, your performance feels effortless, as though some greater force has taken over, which it has. Repeat this affirmation prior to your performance to willingly pass your performance over to this almighty power, week 37 speak publicly with confidence I radiate love, peace, and goodwill to the entire audience. Universal love surrounds them, enfolds them, and enwraps them. I am happy to be here and grateful for the opportunity to speak on a topic I am passionate about. Infinite intelligence thinks, speaks, and acts through me. My words heal bless, and inspire. Peace fills the hearts of everyone in the audience, and they are lifted up and inspired by my words, commentary, fear of public speaking commonly holds people back from achieving their full potential. To overcome this fear and speak with confidence, spend time preparing your speech or presentation. Repeating an affirmation is no substitute for preparation. Use the affirmation instead to calm yourself while centering your attention on the audience. By pouring out love and goodwill to the audience prior to delivering you speech or presentation, you begin to see them more as fellow participants in the event and less as a threat. Week 38 Improve your performance in school I realize that my subconscious mind is a storehouse of memory. It retains everything I read and hear from my teachers. I have a perfect memory, and the infinite intelligence in my subconscious mind constantly reveals to me everything I need to know at all my examinations, whether written or oral. 
I radiate love and goodwill to all my teachers and fellow students. I sincerely wish for them success and all good things, commentary, academic underachievement is commonly the result of indifference or resentment toward teachers or fellow students. Repeat this affirmation several times daily, particularly at night prior to sleep and also in the morning after awakening.